Hey guys, it's Abby and today I have a haul video for you guys. I have a haul video of some items and products that I have picked from the app or the company Prezier. You can download their app. It's right here on my phone if you want to see. It's this one right here. You download the app. It's kind of just like Wish. So it's basically just like Wish. And this company contacted me a while ago, a while ago, months ago. And they asked me if I wanted to pick out a few things on their website and have them sent to me. Um, I said, sure. So when I went onto the app, actually, when I went onto the website, I then downloaded the app. I went through it. It's almost like spitting image of Wish. The prices are the same, the shipping amounts are the same. A bunch of stuff, I don't remember, it was months ago, and it all just arrived today in this big bag. I was not expecting it. it I didn't expect them, I didn't expect them to come all in one bag. I don't remember how much anything was, but I didn't, I only had $35 to spend. So everything in this bundle was under $35. So I figured we'd open it up today and see what everything is like. Is it worth it? I don't know. I did. I used to buy a few things off of Wish, but I kind of stopped because like the shipping was so much money for you get like a lip pencil and you pay a dollar for the lip pencil, but five dollars shipping. And I just thought I was wasting my money. So I was kind of excited when Prezier contacted me because I was like, I guess I was like, I get to find out what these these products are like and if they are worth it. You never really know. So we're going to do a haul video today and see what we received in this. Well, we're going to see what items I picked out because I don't really remember. And we're going to see what they look like, see the quality of them, and see if it's worth it. So let's begin. First thing I see is, oh, it's a mouse toy. I must have picked this for my animals. I must have picked it for my cats. That's a huge mouse. This is like bigger than my, my actual cat. Oh my goodness. Look how big that is. Like it's, it's almost as big as my hand. Okay, so we have a mouse looking thing. My kids will end up playing with that, not my cats. My cats will be scared of that. Okay, the next thing is this, and this must be a shirt. So, okay, so it looks like this. It has this detail right here for your on your chest, and it's a hoodie. So that's kind of cute. The hoodie is not stretchy, but it looks like it has like a point at the top, so that's a little weird. Um, and the sleeves are very short. Like that is a, that's not a long sleeve shirt. That is a three quarter length, definitely. And it would be here. Can you guys see that? So that's like a three quarter length, but the length of it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look short, it kind of looks flowy and it's longer in the back. So that's kind of cute. All right, so we'll check that out. If it doesn't fit me, it can fit my kids. Oh, and here is the little tie that goes on those little things in the front. The next thing I found is this, and it's another shirt. I think this is a sweater. Oh, I think I was picking out like winter clothes. This is really soft. Again, the sleeves are very short, very, very short. So this would fit my child. Here we go. It's cute, like, that's so cute. I would wear that, but the sleeves are too short for me. Like I. Yeah, they're like to here. Is this, please let it be cute. This one's heavier and it looks like this. Looks very different because I remember picking this one out. This one looks very different, oh. And there's threading coming out right there. Like you see that threading? And this looks very different than what I remember seeing, but this one, the sleeves aren't as short as the other ones, and this is like very flowy. It's very, very flowy. It has like this little detail right here, but the thread is coming out. Oh, okay, so the next thing is this, this little bouncy thing. This is actually to put your beauty blenders in, to hold your beauty blenders. So I thought this was a cute idea to show you guys the different kinds of little things that they have to put your, like what I wanted to do was find like a lipstick holder and like that kind of thing, but I only had $35. So 
we're going with this and this is for your beauty blenders and I think that's actually really cute it's really pretty I don't have any of these so I'm excited about the thing I see is this and this is the mini makeup puffers I remember picking this and I actually thought these little ones were full size so here they are and you get little ones very tiny little ones they don't feel bad they're actually really squishy they don't feel bad at all so you get these ones they look like regular beauty blenders you get another one Let's see you get ones shaped like this so not bad yeah you just get those two shapes but that's not bad okay I see these three things and I'm this is concealer okay so I have three concealers I don't remember picking these at all at all but let's see maybe they wanted to show me the different shades no because well, yeah, they're all three different shades. Okay, so we have three different concealers, and it says they're full coverage concealers. So here's one. Let's see. That's definitely not full coverage, because that's not even full covered. No, see? It's right there. You can't even see it. All right, so we have that one. We have the lightest one right here. Did I pick these? I know I picked a lipstick and they said they didn't have it in stock. These might have to warm up a little bit for me to actually use them though, because, all right, so these are not full coverage at all. These are like nothing like full coverage. That's a few swatches right there. Maybe you could use these for, for primer, like on your eyes. Okay, and there's that one, and this one's FCO1 Pop Feel Concealer. This one was FCO3 Pop Feel Concealer. And this one is F, no, that, this one is FCO3. The other one is FCO2. Oh, this one was much more creamy. So there it is, right there. That one was much more creamy. So, okay, so we have concealers, which I'd have to like really play around with these and figure out. They do have like that, like a little bit of a chemical smell. They do. Um, I'll have to like play around with them and actually see what I can use them for. Oh, I don't remember this at all. Oh, they're pants. I do remember these. This is a medium. There is no way that this is a medium. It's not, there's no way. I could never fit in that. I'll have to give these to my youngest daughter. They're so oh, that's cute. What I thought they were, but these are actually cute. I don't know about you guys, but those are cute. And they seem like they're well made. They seem like they're very nicely made. They've got that long, like the wide leg. I wish that this wasn't so small. I think this would fit around my one thigh. Okay, four more things left. I have another one of these mice, which I'm really confused about these. I'm pretty sure I like picked out squishies or something for my kids, but I got mice. So here are the mice. Those are huge mice. They're gigantic. The next thing is this, and this is by Focalor. I think that's how you say it. And this is a multi-use refill pan. And it's in lunch money. So this is either a highlight or an eyeshadow. I'm assuming it's a highlight. I've actually heard of this makeup company. So there's the highlight right there. That's actually not bad. That's not half bad. That's pretty. You can use that as a highlight or a, um, an eyeshadow. The next thing is this, and I remember picking these out because I just thought they were so cute and pretty. It's a brush set. And I think this brush set was like $2. Remember, I'll, I'll make sure to list all the prices. So the first thing is this little fish one. I don't know what I'll use this for. I have no idea. But I see these all over Instagram, and I just kind of wanted to be cool. Um, that is soft. Maybe that's a foundation brush. So here is the fish. He's actually fairly pretty. That's pretty. So we got this one. And let's see how many we get. 11 brushes with this guy. So he's our 11. So let's take these out and see what they are like. 
I, I don't know about you guys, but I love, I love brushes. I love getting brushes. It's one of my favorite things. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of different brushes. All of them look the same. They have this really pretty gold handle that's kind of like, you know, it's like a decorative handle. That's really cute. Um, we have a blender. We have like this little concealer flat. I'll use this for shimmer. We have a large powder brush that is losing a lot of hair. But I think if you want, definitely if you choose to get brushes from any any app or company like Wish or Prezier, make sure you wash these really well. So we've got another one. So we've got these two. This is pretty fluffy, this one. I, I'm not complaining about that at all. Um, they seem really nice. They have a little bit of weight to them. Like they, they have a nice bit of weight to them, which is nice. Um, here's a foundation one. Here is this one, which this one's shedding unbelievably. Okay, so this one's shedding a lot. Um, but here we go. There's this one. And then we have these right here. So we have all these little ones, like an eyebrow one, um, a little bullet one. I don't know what this one's for, but here we go. We have these four right here. So those are the brushes I picked out. I don't think they're bad. I love I love the little deck like the decorative handles. I think they're so pretty. And I don't have anything like these in my collection. Okay, and the last but not least is this, and I believe this is an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so this one is called the Twilight Dusk Palette by You Can Be. And oops, the inside packaging looks just like this. There is not a mirror on this, but it looks like this. It says highly pigment, high pigmentation, easy to blend. 18 shadows and four ready to layer textures. Eight buttery mattes, six pressed pearls, three duochrome toppers, and one Darren glitter. So let's swatch. Where's the Darren glitter? I don't see a Darren glitter um, in here at all. They kind of all look the same. But let's, it has a smell, but it's not a chemical smell. It has like that, it doesn't have that like overbearing chemical smell that sometimes you smell in here. And usually it's the glue, but sometimes when you get products from like, from like an app like this, from a company like this, they do have like a very weird smell to them, but I don't smell it. So let's swatch some of these colors. I don't think they look half bad, um, to tell you the truth, but let's try the mattes i do want to find that like glitter they were talking about that's blood moon and that's just a pretty shade and let's try oud oh here's a duochrome this is what they're talking about with a duochrome you can see the duochrome right there you can see it has pink it's like a it's not gonna pick up in my light but that is really pretty that's a really pretty shade isn't this like a dupe for what's that palette I forget. I don't have it. Um, let's do these last two shimmers. Look at those. Those aren't bad at all. Okay. Let's do the shim. Let's do the mattes. We're not gonna do all of them because there's a lot, but let's do the twilight, which is a pinky red. Ooh, that's not bad. That was not bad. I am kind of shocked right now. This is Nef. Neferetti? Nefreti? I don't know. These are not bad, guys. That's not bad at all. Okay, let's try cause let's do the the black, which is cat which is cashmere. Oh. I'm like shocked right now that these aren't bad. Okay, this is Cosmo. Again, look at that. And then we have Turkish Delight. That one is definitely powdery, but the pigmentation is not bad. I'm shocked, shocked that this is not bad. I'm actually going to use this. It did not blend bad, look. Okay, I'm shocked by the, um, by the eyeshadow palette. So I definitely am excited to try this. I definitely like the little 
beauty blender holder. These ones are a little small and I don't know what I'll use them for, maybe concealer, but that's not bad. These mice are a little crazy looking. The clothing is something that I am definitely going to have to try and um, see how they fit. If I do try them on, I'll make sure to link them. Um, I'll make sure to like put little pictures or inserts in this video, but I don't know if I will. Um, I, I know they're not very, the only thing that's super good quality are actually these pants. The pants themselves, like this part of the pants, is a really nice, nice quality. Like they feel nice, they're, they have weight to them, they're thicker, they don't look like they'll be see-through. Um, I just wish that the waist would have been just a little bit bigger because there is no way I can wear these. No way, they're just too small. It would, my stomach would be to my eyeballs. Um, the shirts, I'm going to try them on and see how they fit, but the, with the length of the sleeves, they'll end up going to my children. They just will. Um, and they'll be play clothes. I wish this was my size because this is cute. This is something I would wear. This is just a regular gray sweater with a v-neck. I actually really like it. The material is not bad. It's very soft and, um, it's very soft and it feels like it would be really comfortable. Now this shirt, I don't remember picking. I think I might remember picking it because of the hood, but this one's definitely just a little bit different than what I saw online, for sure. Um, let's see, the brushes, I think the brushes are really cool. Um, I'm excited about them. I'm gonna wash them and help them de-shed a little bit because they are shedding a lot. But I'm gonna wash them and I'll try them and let you guys know how they are. And I'll make sure to link this website in my description box below. You can download the Prezier app from Google Play or from the App Store. Um, so you can go check it out for yourselves. It is just like Wish. I keep comparing it to Wish, but it is just like Wish. Um, these little concealers, I have no idea. I haven't used them, but they seem very sheer. And these mice. Oh, and the highlighter. The highlighter wasn't bad either. And you can just pop this out and put this in a Z palette. So that's not bad. Um, anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about all these items. Is this something that you'd be interested in? I, I do like going onto the app and searching stuff and finding different things and putting it in my cart and just having it sit there for a while. I do have fun looking for stuff. I mean, they have a ton of stuff for kids, toys and little squishies and a ton of stuff. They have animal toys. They have lots of makeup. They have lots of jewelry, which I thought I picked some jewelry out, but obviously I didn't. Um, I don't think I did. Nope, I didn't. And I did pick a liquid lipstick out, but they didn't have it in stock. So anyway, guys, what did you think about this haul? Is this something you'd be interested in? Let me know in the in my comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I also have a bunch of giveaways going on, so I'll make sure to link them in my description box below. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.